today's video, I'm reviewing the Inertial Wave Strong. Now, about a year ago, I made a review video on the Inertial Wave Solo, which is this product right here. This one's mainly used for metabolic conditioning. Now, with the Inertial Wave Strong, what they've done is they added features that allow you to not only use it for metabolic conditioning, but also to use it for resistance training as resistance tubes. So that's the major difference between these two. And that gives you the ability to get a full body workout with this. Not only do you get the HIT component, the high intensity interval training, but you also get the resistance training as well. So you get a full body workout. Let me show you the, ba the major differences between the two. So this is the inertial wave solo here. At the end of the tube here, you have this area that's raised and that's used to prevent your hand from slipping off the tube while you're doing the metabolic conditioning patterns or the oscillating patterns. You have the same type of stopper here on this end of the inertial wave strong. However, the inertial wave strong has a, a metal loop here at the end that allows you to insert a carabiner and you can attach handles and padded belts to that for your resistance training exercises. So that's the major difference. Aside from that, the Inertia Wave Strong is a little bit shorter, about five inches shorter, and they've also added elastic properties to it for that resistance training effect. Now, one thing about resistance training with the Inertia Wave tubes is that you have what's called a sending dynamic resistance, which means the, the more you stretch that tube, the more the, ins the resistance increases as you get to the end point of the exercise. So the exercise becomes harder as you pull away from the anchor point. So let me show you what, what uh, attachments come with this over here. So with the Inertial Wave Strong, you have several attachments. You have this padded belt here that you can wrap around your waist or around several body parts in the lower body area, lower extremities, and you also have a pair of handles that you can attach to each end of the tube, and you do that by using a carabiner. So this is the carabiner here. You're simply going to attach it to that metal wire, and now you have the ability to use this as a resistance tube. And that's the major differences major difference between this one and this one here. So I'm going to show you everything that comes inside the box. I'm going to show you different exercises that you can do. You want to do the oscillating patterns with the inertial wave, then followed by the resistance training exercises to get a full body workout. Now, some people are going to ask, what, what's the major difference between this and a battle rope? Well, with a battle rope, what happens is that you're putting energy into the rope. That energy is going to die down at the anchor point. The inertial wave is a little bit different. The inertial wave, you put energy into the tubes. That energy goes to the anchor point, and then it comes back to your body. So you're constantly having some form of resistance, whether you're putting it into the tube or it's coming back to you. Your body has to continuously absorb that energy, giving you a complete body workout with very little rest in between. So now I'm going to show you exactly what comes inside the box. So here's what you get with the Inertial Wave Strong. You get all these products. Now, this is a travel bag. Everything you see here is going to fit into this mesh bag over here. So it makes it easy for you to travel and take this anywhere. It doesn't matter where you go. You can attach it to any sort of anchor point so you can get a workout in. So you get the travel bag. You get both resistance tubes or both Inertial Wave tubes. Again, the difference between these and the Inertial Wave Solo is the fact that you have these wire loops at the end that allow you to attach different handles for resistance training. You get the rail straps. The rail straps are what go around the anchor point. And then at each end over here, you have a carabiner that's going to attach to an O-ring on the Inertial Wave tube. You get two of these. Now, you also get two handles here. This is where the resistance training comes in. The two handles are going to be attached to a carabiner. That carabiner is going to go into the wire loop here for resistance training exercises. You also get these two padded belts. The padded belts work the same way as the tubes, except you're going to use these for mainly lower body exercises where you can wrap this around your waist or wrap this around your legs. And you're going to have a carabiner go here. That carabiner is going to attach into the wire loop here. For resistance training so this is everything you get with the inertial wave strong again everything you see here can fit in here for easy traveling now i'm going to show you how to anchor down the inertial wave strong ideally you want to have both tubes at about 24 to 36 inches apart which is about an arm's length apart that makes it easier for you to just attach it anywhere you can attach these to weight racks like the one i have here you can attach it to rails you can attach it to fences dumbbells i've even used it on my trampoline now what you want to do is you have both ends here of the inertial wave strong. You have an O-ring on one end and then you have this uh, wire loop at the other end for the attachments for the handles. So what you want to do is you want to grab 
your rail strap. The rail strap has a loop on one end, you have a carabiner on the other end, and you want to throw the strap around the anchor point that you're using. So I'm going to throw it around the rack. I have my carabiner here, and I'm going to thread that carabiner through the loop, and now I pull as tight as I can so that it stays securely on there. Now all you're going to do is you're going to grab that O-ring, clip it onto the carabiner, and then you're ready to go. Now what you want to do is, if you want to just work on the metabolic conditioning part, then you just grab the handle here by the end. If you wanted to work on the resistance training part, then you attach the carabiner to the wire loop here at the end, and you're ready to go. So just as simple as that, all you need to do is find an anchor point about 24 to 36 inches apart, about waist high, and then you're ready to work out. So now that I have my inertia wave tubes anchored down, I'm going to walk you through the steps of what you want to do in order to go from a metabolic conditioning exercise into a resistance training exercise. The goal here is to do about 15 seconds of metabolic conditioning, then followed by resistance training, and you continue to do that over and over again, going through different oscillating patterns of the tubes. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure is that you have a secure grip on the tubes. You, once you have a secure grip, you want to move back, creating resistance on the tube until it feels like you're being pulled into the balls of your feet. Okay, so that this is one major difference from the get-go from the inertia tubes and a battle rope. You have to initially engage right away your posterior muscles. If I don't engage my back here, my arms are pulled forward or my body is being pulled forward. So I have to engage my posterior muscles, the back muscles, the core, my legs are being engaged, and then from there I can start doing the oscillating movements for the inertia wave. So over here, I'm going to start with the inertia wave pattern. And you know you're doing this right when you hear the wind noise. Again, you want to try to do this for about 15 seconds. And then after that, once you're done, you want to attach the handles to go right into resistance training. So I have my handles here. I'm going to go ahead and clip the carabiners onto the end here of the inertia wave strong. And it's okay if you take a few seconds to take a breather. And then from here, I can go right into another exercise, a resistance exercise. For example, I can go from here to a row. So just from those 15 seconds, I already feel myself breathing hard. And then you repeat here anywhere from 10 to 12 reps, depending on whatever your goal is. Once you're done with that, one thing you don't want to do is once you go back into a metabolic conditioning exercise, you don't want to oscillate the tubes from these handles here. What you want to do is make sure you take this off. Take it off. And then you go back to another pattern here. So this time I can go into this pattern here. Once I'm done, get my handles or get my padded belts and attach them again. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you different exercises you can do uh, using the tubes and the, and the attachments themselves.
So that's my review on the Inertia Wave Strong. As you can see in this video, you can go from a high-intensity interval training exercise and in a matter of seconds switch to a resistance training exercise, giving you a balance of metabolic conditioning, core strengthening, and resistance training from one tool. 